Hey friends, welcome to Hot News. Hope you've been enjoying your time without us because we've been trying to spend some time reformulating, having a new strategy for the month of May. What we're gonna try to do on this channel is, as it says, hot news, whereas the main channel is just gonna be dedicated to actual, like, content and then this will be the news channel at least for may we'll see how it goes uh we're gonna try shorter videos we're gonna try longer videos we're even maybe even gonna do a full episode like we would do on the main ufd tech channel but uh that's not what's happening today because today is just about some intel stuff let's talk about ray tracing because it's everybody's favorite freaking buzzword because that's just what we have to throw it's like physics okay nvidia had phys x and then everybody was implementing physics into their gosh dang things it was dumb and not okay it, it's just why anyways the latest news is that project z intel's project z is going to support ray tracing but with the twists my friends because what you don't know or what you probably do is that ray tracing is used in movies that's where the technology has been used forever and what Intel has come out and said that for their industry partners, you know, like a DreamWorks or somebody who would give up in an NVIDIA server, they would then have render farms that can do ray tracing much faster than current solutions that are on the market. So the Intel's at least committing to bring ray tracing to the general um, performance supercomputer market, which everybody is involved in and we all want to be in like buying like giant server racks that cost tens of thousands of dollars. Anyways, there's no word as to whether or not this is going to come to consumers. My guess is based on the fact that Navi is gonna be supporting ray tracing, the PlayStation 5 is gonna be supporting ray tracing next year. Project Z will definitely have to support ray tracing when it launches in 2020, but obviously supporting ray tracing doesn't mean anything. GTX cards now support ray tracing. A 1066 gig can ray trace. Not very well, but ray tracing isn't a special thing that you need dedicated hardware for. You need dedicated hardware to make it go fast, but you don't need a dedicated hardware to make it work. So I like any anything that says we're bringing out ray tracing, it's just a buzzword to me at this point. I don't take it seriously. Intel seems to be taking the good angle, which is we're gonna help production studios actually ray trace much easier for their scenes and everything they're developing, which I think is probably where they're gonna make the most amount of money. Money, so I think they're probably taking the correct approach there. Uh, but also in some Intel news, not only are they making their own GPU, they are stealing everybody from AMD because in yet another bit of news, they have taken another person from AMD, Devin Nkichuk. My word pronunciation is totally wrong, Nkichuk. Nkichuk. I, I'm, I'm done with that. Anyways, he served as senior manager of product management in since 2070, where he was responsible for managing Radeon GPUs throughout their product life cycle. How many more people do you need, Intel? Gosh, dang. Maybe actually invest in your CPU so that you're not all stuck on 14 nanometers and whatnot. Anyways, let's talk about Intel CPUs just a little bit because we've got an unveiling of their next generation 10th gen CPUs based off of Ice Lake, which are gonna be U-series mobile processors. And they're gonna be named in a way that makes me super uncomfortable. It like rumbles my jibbles. And I'm not, I'm not happy about that. This ruffles my jibbies. <laughs> Anyways, so they're gonna have five digits in their names. So what we're looking at, if you don't include i5, i7, anyways, let me read one for you. Core i5-10210U. That hurts. I'm sure it hurts for you to look at. All of this bothers me. I'm not okay with Intel stealing people from AMD. I'm not okay with people calling ray tracing, ray tracing. And I'm not okay with the five digit product skew. This is, this is a triggering episode of Hot News where we talked about Intel nonsense. Anyways, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Get subscribed to stay up to date on our Hot News, as I mentioned unlikely that it's going to go on the main channel from now on. And this weekend is about us catching up with news that has already come out, but we're going to try to get it done this weekend. So if you want to see it, you can see it. Watch the news. Bye.